Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarker Super Quick Book Preview Show. This episode, we're checking out Kevin Hart's Marcus Makes a Movie. Let's give it a preview and see if you might want to read this. Starting off with our passage preview, Chapter 1, The World's Greatest Superhero. Deadeye wasn't just any old villain. He was a super villain, seven feet tall, muscles like rocks, with a whole crew of henchmen, the Dead Boys. They were marching through Center City, looking for folks to rob. Junior High was letting out. Kids were everywhere. Deadeye checked out the crowd. He spotted this one kid walking all alone. Skinny little boy with no muscles. The perfect victim. Deadeye came at him. Empty them pockets, little man, he yelled. Skinny little kid took off. Deadeye and the boys chased him all the way down to Main Avenue. Kid's heart was beating like a drum. They were gaining on him. He ran into Mr. Lee's deli. Hid all the way in the back, behind the potato chip rack. Deadeye came in after him. No fights in my store, Mr. Lee yelled. Deadeye didn't listen. He just grinned. Skinny Kid was cornered. The supervillain was fixing to break him in half. But it wasn't going to go down like that. Because Deadeye, he made a big mistake. That wasn't just any little kid hiding behind those bags of chips. It was Marco Jackson. When Marco gets scared, he gets mad. And when Marco gets mad, the change comes over him. He turns into Toothpick, the world's greatest superhero fighter for justice, defender of the weak, and a couple of feet taller than regular Marco. He's still skinny, but it's a strong skinny, arms and legs like steel wires. And those skinny fingers of his, they turn into finger spears, razor sharp, fast as lightning, cut the bad guys up like shish kebab, squick, smick, zick, toothpick busted out of that stack aisle with his finger spears snicking. Now it was Deadeye's turn to be scared. He and his dead boys ran right out the door. They didn't get far. Toothpick flew down the street, soared up in the air, and came down on them like a warbird. Squick! He stuck those finger spears in deep, right between dead eyes. Bam! I jumped about a half foot out of my chair. Bam, bam! Somebody was pounding on the door behind me. I set down the pencil I was using to draw a toothpick sticking it to dead eye. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the passage preview. Let's take a look at what Common Sense Media has to say. They give it a 5 out of 5 stars, and they say it's appropriate for ages 8 plus. And the Amazon reviews agree 5 out of 5 stars based on 500 ratings. Here is our back of the book preview summary. Marcus is not happy to be stuck in after school film class until he realizes he can turn the story of the cartoon superhero he's been drawing for years into an actual movie. There's just one problem. He has no idea what he's doing. So he'll need help from his friends, his teachers, Sierra, the strong-willed classmate with the creative dreams of her own, even Tyrell, the local bully, who'd be a perfect movie villain if he weren't too terrifying to talk to. Making this movie won't be easy. But as Marcus discovers, nothing great ever is. And if you want your dream to come true, you've got to put in the hustle to make it happen. Marcus Makes a Movie by Kevin Hart is 208 pages long. It is three hours if you want to go with the audiobook. And the topics and genres are humor. And this book has pictures like Big Nate or Diary of a Wimpy Kid. All right, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of Truth is this book for you. If not, check out some of the other book previews that we have on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel, like this book about superpowered squirrels in Flora and Ulysses. Do me a favor also and hit like and subscribe and whatever other good stuff YouTube throws down there. Thank you so much for checking out this book with me and we will see you next time.